Equifax, Senior Account Manager. Uh, we start with the North American market. We had the MBA mortgage applications, 1.9% uh, less than previous. And for Canada, Bank of Canada interest rate decision unchanged at 0.5%. Also for Canada, IV Purchasing Managers Index, 3.1 points worse than expected at 52.3. Dix Index is 0.09% to 94.86. The dollar remained moderately higher against the other major currencies on Wednesday. But gains were still limited as the previous session's downbeat US data, which lowered the expectations for a rate hike by the Federal Reserve this year. Also, the USD JPY was at 101.62, down 0.13%. Dow futures inched down 3 points or 0.02%, while the tech heavy NASDAQ 100 futures tacked on 6 points or 0.12%. Later today, we will have continuing jobless claims, initial jobless claims, consumer credit change for August. And from Canada, we have the new housing price index. We move to the European markets. We had the German industrial production year on year, which dropped with 2.3% down to a negative 1.2% from previous 0.9%. The German 10 year uh, bond auction dropped with 0.02% at negative 0.11%. Germany stocks were higher after the close on Wednesday. At the close in Frankfurt, the DAX rose 0.62% to hit a new six months high. Euro USD was down 0.17% to 1.1236, while Euro GBP rose 0.60% to 0.8426. Today we have the ECB interest rate decision, ECB deposit rate decision, and ECB monetary policy statement, and press conference, of course. We move to the UK markets. Now we had the GBP manufacturing production year on year, 0.2% worse than expected and 0.1% better than previous at 0.8% for July. GBP um, indication production year on year, 0.3% better than expected and better than previous at 2.1%. GBP risk housing price balance beat expectations with 10% better than previous at 12%. And Bank of England Governor Mark Carney said on Wednesday that the UK's uh, central bank had made the right decision with regard to its contingency plans in light of the UK's June 23rd decision to leave the European Union. Pound dollar traded at 1.3344 compared to 1.3370 before the start of the hearings. Euro pound moved to 0.8422 from the previous 0.8408. Pound yen traded at 1.35.76 compared to 135.66 earlier. No events from the calendar for today. Asian and Pacific markets. We had the Japanese foreign investment in Japan stocks 17.4 billion yen at 1.9 billion yen. Uh, Japanese foreign bond investment. Also, we had the it is at 107.7 billion yen. Uh, we had the Chinese trade balance uh, in the USD for August. It is 5.95 billion dollars. Also, Chinese imports here near 6.4 percent better than expected, 13 percent better than previous at 1.5 percent. Japanese Echo Watcher survey outlook for August 0.3 percent better than previous at 47.4. Echo Watcher survey current uh, 0.5 points better than previous. Nikkei 89 points up today. Pound yen 45 pips down. USD JPY 25 pips up. Cat JPY on Doji. Euro JPY 21 pips up. Swiss franc JPY 33 pips up. And New Zealand JPY 54 pips up. Later tonight, we will have the New Zealand electronic card retail sales year on year and month on month. We move to commodities. The S&P 500 index had a range of 10 points at 2,185 at the moment, going sideways for the last three sessions. Gold had a range of $11 yesterday, down to 1,347 at the moment. 
Silver had a range of 41 cents at 19.88 now. Crude oil had $1.20 range at 46.25 now. Natural gas trading at 2.67 at the moment, range of 8 cents yesterday. We had the API weekly crude oil stock, a massive draw of uh, 12.1 million barrels, far surpassing estimates of a modest build. And today we will have the EIA natural gas storage change and crude oil stocks change. Thank you. Have a successful day.